Have you ever wondered how you could use one of these to help you study one of these? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you my exact setup. Now, in case you and I haven't met yet, I'm Keith Farron, your Bible coach. My passion and the goal of everything on this channel is to help you move from should to want when it comes to reading, studying, understanding, applying, and yes, enjoying God's Word. So if you could use some help with that, then you want to click that little button down there so you don't miss a video. Now, I have been using my tablet for years to help me keep all of my notes and my research in one place and on multiple devices without copying and all that. So while I've got apps and everything that I can use on there, I like to use uh, an app to organize everything called OneNote. You can get it for free from Microsoft. The, the principles in this video will follow along whether you like to use OneNote or Evernote or one of the other million note-taking apps on there. But I'm going to walk you through my exact process because I reference OneNote and I reference digital notes and digital journals in other videos. And people ask me, can you just show me how to do it? So in this video, I want to show you how I set up OneNote and then how, if the Bible study I'm doing has a PDF, that how I can print that and have the PDF in OneNote so I can mark it up. And then we'll move over to the tablet to show you exactly how I then use it from there. So let's first, I'm going to share my desktop because I like to get things set up on my computer before I do things on my tablet. All right. So here is OneNote. And the way, if you've never used OneNote, the way that OneNote is set up on the desktop, and it'll be a little bit different. I'll show you the slight differences uh, on the tablet, and it's even different on the phone. Your notebooks, think of notebooks on a shelf, and I've got my Bible studies notebook, and my sermons and speeches notebook, and my work notebook. And then across the top, if you ever had a notebook when you were a kid, and you had the spiral bound notebook, and it had the little color tabs that stuck out. You can think of the parts across the top as the tabs. And then once you select one of them, what's going down here on the left are the pages, the pieces of paper where you're actually taking your notes. And so what I like to do is I like to have all of my Bible studies in one notebook, and then I create a new notebook up here. You simply click the, you know, click the plus, and I'm just going to say, I'm just going to call it new notebook for this demo. And, and so I've got this new notebook, and then it gives you a blank page, a blank piece of paper in there automatically. And I'm going to call this demo Bible study. And so I've got that demo Bible study in there. And so I can keep going, uh, going back and forth. If I'm studying multiple books, maybe I'm studying something on my own and I'm studying another topic with a my small group or something like that, I can create as many of those tabs across as I want. And when I'm doing my demo Bible study, it may be something that you're studying a book of the Bible that has maps or images or you're copying things from other places. So you can create as many new pages as you want. So I can have maps here and then I could have people if, I, if the book I'm studying has people in it or themes. You can do any of that. And if let, let's just say that you did do uh, that, you did do one that was themes and you're doing a study on the fruits of the spirit, you could actually here create another page and you just drag it over a little bit and, and it will indent in there. And so I could create one for all of the research I'm doing on love. And then I could create another one on joy and just drag that over. So then if I'm studying the themes, but then I go back to study Galatians and I could just close that and it's closing all those subpages and you can just keep going on there. It's a very robust way to, to be able to make it kind of as thorough as you want, but keep everything organized in one place. So I'm gonna go just to this blank page of demo Bible study. And then I wanna show you how I get uh, from the from the PDF into 
the uh, into OneNote, and then we'll switch over to the tablet. So here is a Psalms reading plan that I created. And by the way, you can get this one for free. I'll give you the link down in the description where you can get this 65 day Psalms reading plan. That is actually the one that I'm doing as I record this in the summertime. This is the one that I am doing right now. And so I just simply open this up in my browser and then I go and I print it. And when you've got OneNote installed on your computer, then OneNote becomes one of your printers. So I have my different printers and I can just select OneNote and click print. Now let's go back over to OneNote. And so now within OneNote, I can choose where I want to put this. And so I have my Bible studies here and you'll see what, what it recommends, one of the reasons I love doing it on desktop is because, like anything, the desktop version is going to be more robust than the tablet version, which is going to be more robust than the, the smartphone version. And one of the things that it does when you go to print it is it says, do you want to print this and where this new notebook is, this demo Bible study, so the current section, which are the ones across the tabs across the top, or the current page. So I want to put it right there and I can print it. And then you'll see that it just prints out that Bible reading plan right there. Now, I've had times where I have a PDF that is a reading plan with journal entries like these, like my scripture journey books, that when you when you buy one of the scripture journey books, you can, uh, you can let me know and I'll send you the PDF version of that that has the, the discussion questions and the journal pages built right in. And so you so sometimes I will print the entire PDF of the book. It's got journal pages, questions, all that guidance for specific days or topics or so many different times when you'll get a PDF that has multiple pages. It's not just the reading plan, but I wanted to keep it simple for this demo. But if you if you had a multiple page PDF, it would just print the whole thing out and create one long page that you can then use. So once I've got it set up on my in OneNote, it's going to sync with my the OneNote app on my phone and the OneNote app on my tablet. So let's jump over to the tablet. So now we are back to the iPad. So let's launch OneNote and see what we find. Yep, you'll see that it's, as I mentioned, it's laid out just slightly different. So instead of having the notebooks that you click that show you the different notebooks, that's just your first column on the left. Instead of the tabs being just across the top, they're still color coded in exactly the same way, but they're the second column. And then your pages are in the third column. So you'll see that there is a new notebook, the one that we created right there, and right next to it are all of the pages that you saw me create, including the themes and all of that. And I've got the demo Bible study, and there is the page right there. Now, with, with that there, I can, I can just start uh, taking my, I can take my pen and, and I can, I can use text mode where I can write something and it'll turn into text. I like to use the writing mode. If I'm reading something, I can change the color of that and I can say, okay, I've done day one and day two, or if I'm here, I can just be adding, um, you know, my notes that for Psalm one, and I can just write whatever notes I want. I can insert pictures or I can, you know, I can erase things if I need to. If I want more space, I can add more space so that I, and if I think of something later on, if I've taken a note on Psalm one and then Psalm two and then Psalm three, and I come across a quote or something about Psalm one, I can use that insert space feature and add some more in there. And I just love the ability to, to change, you know, the colors for different things that I want to do. If there's something that I want to highlight, because sometimes I will, in a piece of Bible study software that I'm using, I may copy uh, some information from there and it's pasted in as text. And then I just want to highlight something. And so it will allow anything that I paste becomes highlightable. 
Is that a word? Highlightable? <laughs> Let's just say that it is. And, and then I have all of my notes in one place. I can add new pages. I can add, again, maps, themes, all that kind of thing right in there inside of OneNote. So I hope that that has been helpful to you. I, I hope that you will give it a try. And again, I find that for me, setting it up on the desktop and then having it just synchronize everywhere else is just a lot easier. You can certainly open up a PDF on your tablet and take a screenshot of that and paste it in, and then it'll, you can write over it. But I just find that there are times when I am literally printing an entire book of mine. And so it's a 120 to 150 page PDF, and then it's all just in there. And it's got the lined paper and all that. It looks like the paper book, but instead of having to carry that around, I can take a quick note on my phone and it'll show up in my tablet. I can take it on my tablet. I can look at things on my computer. If I ever want to print something, it just makes it so much easier. So give it a try. And if you have found another digital note-taking tool that you've liked better or a feature of OneNote that I didn't mention here that you just love, then let me me know because I love learning from you how we can use the tools and technology that's out there to help us study God's word better. So hope this has been helpful. If so, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and share this with a friend so others can get the Bible coaching that they need. And as always, I will see you in the next video.